on in. So welcome to Monday. <laughs> you can just start in that nice comfy seat. Just letting yourself settle in. And as always, we begin with the breath. As you settle in to your seat, tune in and observe your breath. And the breath is such a perfect place to start. Because our breath is always in the present moment. We're not breathing in the past. The past is gone. We're not breathing in the future, the future has not happened. We're breathing in the now, in this moment, this breath. we get really focused on the flow of this breath in this moment, all the other distractions and chatter in the mind begins to fall away. And this is the beginning of relaxation. Taking the time to go within, to feel your breath, feel your body in this present moment. As you begin to get really centered and really grounded, we drop in to a deeper awareness. Observe what sensations you feel in your body. Notice if there's any areas that feel tight. Notice any areas that feel uncomfortable. Notice places where you feel spacious and free. And just smile to your body in loving appreciation for all that it does, for all of its function, for all of its mystery and wonder. Take a deep breath in, filling up your body, expanding completely, fill yourself with breath. Then we'll exhale slowly and completely. Then walk your left hand to the left side and sweep your right arm up and over. Just taking a big side body stretch, opening across the right side of your waist. Reach up and out through your fingertips, extending through that right arm, feeling that stretch and length along the right side of your body. We'll inhale to look up and under the right arm, opening through your chest and shoulders. As you exhale, gently roll your heart down towards the earth, folding over your left leg. Let your right fingertips touch down to the floor. You could even reach your right fingertips a little further across, 
stretching and lengthening through the right side and the low back, maybe even getting a stretch into the hips. We'll inhale and look up under the right arm again, stacking your heart open, roll your gaze towards the sky, then we'll slowly rise and come all the way back up to center. Then sweep that right hand across to your left knee. We'll inhale to lift your heart and exhale to rotate around. So breathe into this twist, feeling your body move in subtle ways with each breath, massaging the pose. And we'll slowly come back around to the front. You can let your hands rest comfortably onto your knees. We'll take a full round of breath here. Breathing it in and out. And then we'll move to the second side, walking your right fingertips across. We'll sweep the left arm up and over, leaning into a nice side body stretch, opening through the left side of your waist. Reach out through the left fingertips, feeling that extension, really extending out, reaching through the fingertips. Then we'll inhale and open your gaze towards the sky, opening through your chest and shoulders. Then we'll exhale and roll your heart down towards the floor, folding over your right knee. Let your left fingertips touch down. Maybe you can tiptoe your left fingertips a little further across, really leaning into that stretch, breathing into your side body. Take your time, really go inward and feel the stretch. Lengthen into the stretch, give in to the stretch. And we'll inhale and look up underneath that right, that left arm again opening through the chest and shoulders. We'll slowly rise and come all the way back up to your seat and we'll sweep the left hand across all the way around to the right knee. Let your right fingertips reach back as you inhale to sit up tall and exhale to twist a little deeper. So this is the dance, the dance of the breath. Inhaling to expand and create more space. And exhaling to deepen. Taking a deeper journey into the experience. And we'll slowly release back to the front. Coming back to center, let your hands rest down on your knees and we'll take a full round of breath all the way in and all the way out and we'll roll forward into your tabletop position making your way onto your hands and knees so as you come into your tabletop we'll mobilize the spine lifting your heart lifting your tail take a deep breath in expanding through your body and then as you exhale, gently round your spine, curling your belly in, press against the earth, lifting up through the back of your spine, stretch your back body, then inhale and open. So we'll just flow with that movement three or four or five times, flowing with the rhythm of your own breath. You can move as fast or as slow as it feels good, but really focus on feeling good. So we wanna move this stretch in a way that's really juicy for your body, for your spine, for your breath, and for your mind. When you feel complete, we'll begin to make your way back to center, coming back to that nice, strong tabletop position. We're going to open a twist, 
stretching your right fingertips up towards the sky. Get a nice rotation in your spine. And we'll exhale and gently weave your right arm under, bringing that shoulder all the way down to the floor. You can let your head come down. Press your left hand against the floor and roll your left shoulder back, deepening the twist in your spine. Reach your right fingertips a little further across until you maximize that stretch behind the right shoulder blade. You can even play with turning your gaze up towards the sky, deepening the stretch even farther. Then we'll slowly unwind, pressing your heart back up. Open your right fingertips to the sky. Big twist in the spine. Then gently float your right hand back down to the floor. Then we're gonna reach the right hand forward to the front edge of your mat. Bend into the left elbow, letting your heart come down. We take half of a puppy pose. So reaching those right fingertips forward, you soften your heart towards the earth. You can use your left hand to give you a little support as you soften your chest towards the floor. Breathe into that right shoulder. And we'll slowly press yourself back up to your tabletop position, coming back to center. Then we'll move to the second side. Inhaling your breath, we'll open the left fingertips to the sky, getting a nice rotation here, open through your chest and shoulders. And then exhale and gently weave the right arm under. That's the left arm, you know. <laughs> We're gonna bring that left shoulder all the way down to the floor. Press into the earth with that right hand. Inhale to open your left fingertips back up to the sky. Then we'll slowly float the left hand back down to your mat and glide those left fingertips forward to the front edge of your mat. Letting your chest and your heart come down. We settle into half of a puppy pose, letting your heart melt towards the earth and reach out through your left fingertips and just lean into that stretch in your left shoulder, really letting yourself feel into that space and gently press yourself all the way back up to center. As you come into your nice sturdy tabletop position, I'm just gonna roll the head around a few times. So just getting a nice rotation stretching through your neck, mobilizing the spine. We'll rotate in the opposite direction. Just feel that movement, enjoy the stretch, enjoy the sensation. And when you're ready, you can come back to center. Ah, okay, we're gonna walk both hands forward here and settle into a full puppy pose, reaching both arms forward. Let your heart soften down towards the mat, keeping your hips stacking over your knees. We feel length in the spine, a gentle curve in the low back, and a deep heart opening deep into the shoulders. We breathe into that space. Feel the curve behind your heart Feel the curve in your low back, just feeling all of that openness in your spine. From here, we're gonna journey to downward facing dog. So you can spread your hands wide on your mat, bringing strength into your hands and your forearms. Curl your toes under, lift your hips up towards the sky, and you can make your way into that down dog. Pedal out your feet here, stretching into the backs of your legs. Enjoying that nice stretch, opening up through the back body. We breathe into it, slow and steady. 
gently making your way to stillness will settle into your down dog and breathe into the nuance of the pose so see where you can bring more energy more engagement into your shape how much more can you bring the pose to life Take one more full round of breath all the way in and all the way out. Ah. And slowly walk your feet forward to the front of your mat. Nice and easy. Just making your way to a forward fold. Bringing your feet parallel. You can shift your weight side to side a little bit here. And lean into the right and the left, bending one knee and then the other, exploring the space behind your legs. Breathe into the sensations that you feel and let yourself enjoy coming up against these edges, feeling where your body wants to stretch. Savor the richness of the feeling. We'll slowly make your way back to center, folding forward over your legs. We're going to rotate the toes 45 degrees open to the sides. So just making a little rotation in the feet. Lengthen the crown of your head down towards the floor, folding over your legs with a little rotation. So this may bring a new and different sensation to your awareness. Again, you can play with shifting your weight side to side and see how it feels now, right? So every little movement, every little adjustment creates an opportunity for a new experience. So it's fun to play around with movement. It's fun to play around with variations in your shapes to get the full spectrum of experience that's available. Slowly making your way back to stillness, folding over your legs, maintaining that rotation. Just reach the crown of your head down, deepening into that fold. Then we'll slowly turn your toes back to the front, coming back to parallel. And then again, we just lean into that fold. Feeling the openness through the backs of your legs. Reach the crown of your head down towards the earth. Then we'll inhale and lift halfway, extending up through the crown of your head. Lengthen out your spine. Hug your belly in. Then we'll exhale and gently fold, folding your body right back down over the legs. Let's do that two more times. Inhale to your half lift, extending through your chest and shoulders. Then we'll exhale and gently fold all the way back down. One more time like this. Lift and lengthen through your spine. Articulate the vertebrae as you reach out. Then exhale and let it fold, coming all the way back down. Slowly sink your hips down towards the floor and we're going to bring your bottom all the way down. Okay, from this sitting position, place your hands to the floor behind you and your goal here is to try to rotate the fingertips towards the front of your mat. Now, if that's a little bit much for your wrists, if that's uncomfortable, you can turn your fingertips out to the sides. It'll just be a little bit different stretch in the shoulders, but it's fine. So you can find your variation here. Okay, so we're going to stand into the legs, press into your hands, lift your hips in a reverse tabletop position. Now really try to lift up through your chest until you feel a stretch across the fronts of your shoulders. And then gently lean your head back, between your shoulder blades. It's kind of like nestling your head between your shoulder blades. You open through your throat, lift up through your chest, and then we'll gently float your hips back down to the floor. OK, 
okay we'll bring the soles of your feet together and your knees wide hold on to your ankles here lift your heart as you inhale feeling that extension through the crown of your head then we'll exhale and lean your heart forward deepening the stretch into the hips keep reaching your heart forward leaning into that stretch until you reach a certain edge so that you have to round forward so you let the head neck and shoulders round forward as we lengthen into the deepest variation of this stretch that's available to your body today breathe into the hips open through the back of the pelvis right so we get a stretch into the si joint stretching the attachments around the sacrum so this is an excellent stretch that not only targets the hips but also begins to stretch into the muscles that attach around the low back so we'll just take another full round of breath here savor that stretch take it to your personal edge oh then we'll slowly begin to make your way up and out of the pose rolling your spine all the way up to sitting and then from here sweep your right hand across to your left knee so we have another little twist variation here a little bit deeper twist since the knees are wider apart we're going to circle your left hand back behind your head lean your head back into your hand stretching away from the left knee so you're holding on to your left knee with your right hand. Your left hand is back behind your head and you're leaning towards the right knee. So this is a deep stretch into the left side body and shoulder and a deep stretch behind the right shoulder. Yeah. Let's slowly rise and come all the way up and we'll try that on the second side. So sweep your left hand across to your right knee you know, if you want to use your right hand on the floor, that might help you get yourself, you know, settled into that twist. Then you can bring your right hand back behind your head, holding on to that right knee with your left hand. And begin to lean your head back into your right hand, leaning towards the left knee. So you're holding on to the right knee as kind of leverage to maintain that twist. Stretching behind the left shoulder blade. Mm, so nice. back up. To center. Yeah. Roll your shoulders around a few times. Ah, getting a nice rotation here. Opening up. Mobilizing through the shoulders. Then hug your knees in towards your chest. Folding your knees in like a book. Wrap your arms around your shins and give yourself a little squeeze. And just tuck your chin in towards your chest, rounding your spine forward. You feel length and stretch along your whole spine. Mm, feels so nice. Okay, then cross your ankles. Place your feet on the floor. You can lean your weight forward into your hands and press yourself back up into a forward fold. All right, so of course you're going to have to uncross your ankles but you already knew that. <laughs> You're so intuitive. <laughs> so coming back into this forward fold, let's inhale to lift and extend through your spine, reaching your heart forward, nice long spine. Then we'll exhale and fold your body down. Plant your hands on your mat. Step your feet back and we're gonna just take a nice courtesy vinyasa. <laughs> Okay, so standing into the strength of your legs, lift your heart, lengthen your spine. Inhale to shift your heart forward towards the front edge of your mat. You can lower your knees straight down to the floor, but keep your shoulders back and your heart and chest lifted. As you exhale your next breath, slowly begin to lower your heart down towards the floor keep the shoulders back keep the chest open as you slowly come all the way down to the earth bring the tops of your feet onto the mat 
roll the tops of your shoulders up towards the sky. We'll inhale another breath to curl your heart and chest away from the floor. Then right here in your cobra pose, turn your chin to the right, looking over that right shoulder. Then turn your chin to the left, looking over the left shoulder. So, uh, and coming back to center, we'll press back into your downward facing dog. You can press up through your tabletop position and draw your hips up towards the sky feeling that deep stretch behind the legs, into the chest and shoulders, opening your whole body here. Find maximum strength and aliveness <laughs> in your pose. And then again, turn your chin to the right, looking underneath that right arm. And then turn your chin to the left, looking underneath the left arm. So this gives us a little stretch into the neck. Whew, that's really doing it for me, guys. <laughs> we'll slowly come back to center. Uh, enjoying your downward dog, let's inhale and sweep your right leg up towards the sky, coming into a tripod. We'll exhale and step your right foot forward coming into a lunge. Lower your left knee down to the mat. Shift your weight forward towards the right foot and feel that stretch at the front of your left hip flexors. Again, you can play with any micro movements in your pose, exploring that internal space breathe into the stretch so we have a little time to just be with the sensation so often we can rush through the practice and not take the time to really enjoy and savor each experience so on your next inhale let's lift up through your heart lift up through the crown of your head then exhale and gently glide your hips back extending through your right knee now lift your heart up lengthen your spine and draw back on your right sitting bone you can think about tipping your pelvis forward so that instead of curling the tailbone down, we lift the tailbone up and back, maximizing the stretch behind the right hamstring. So we could honestly just stay right here because it's just that juicy. <laughs> Breathing into that stretch behind the hamstring and this hamstring stretch is really where it's at for relieving tension in the low back. So we'll take one more inhale here, extending your heart forward, lengthen through your spine, draw your tailbone up and back. Then as you exhale, we'll just go ahead and fold your body down over that right leg. Let your neck and shoulders relax. Let your head be heavy as you fold over your right leg. 